encouraged to collaborate, especially between uh, IRDR, uh, Future and WCLP to jointly dis uh, develop a new knowledge action network. My name is Shuaib Luasa. I'm an associate professor at Makerere University in Uganda, but also a chair of the Integrated Research on Disaster Risk, or in short, IRDR, which is the Global Research on Disaster Risk Reduction. Uh, I'm Miguel Trejo from Mexico, uh, and I am collaborating at the Wired Network. So it is working with a uh, Wired uh, professional. So my name is Rodin von Lachmann. I'm based in TU Dresden, Germany. I'm representing Young Earth System Scientist Community. Yes, community. Hello, I'm Jana Zilman. I'm representing the World Climate Research Program, and in particular, the Grand Challenge on Weather and Climate Extremes. Um, hello, my name is um, Sebastian Zippel. I'm a climate ecosystem researcher working in um, Norway, and I'm introducing here the project E3S. E3S is um, the, there's an acronym that stands for um, Extreme Events and Environments from Climate to Society. Our specific focus reflecting the membership of the conversation to date is around weather and climate extremes. So that's our particular entry point into this conversation. But as you'll see later, we're very much interested in learning from across the spectrum of hazard types. This is a summary, an attempt to summarize both what our three groups, those groups that have, that have been involved to date in this conversation, bring to the party and where the party is, which is in the integration space in the middle, but also at the networking between our groups. Uh, so just, you're, you are familiar with, with the groups already. And it's very much a statement of progress to date, but um, the World Climate uh, Research Program brings expertise on weather and climate extremes, future Earth, on the social biospheric conditions uh, for systemic change, and IRDR brings uh, an interest and expertise around multiple hazards and disaster risk reduction and development, all of which comes together around a set of, we're starting to get into academic jargon, but an interest around co-development, co-production. So recognizing the development, risk, risk management, all interact together. The cascading events that I've already mentioned, multiple hazards, and this ambition not just to think about risk as managing and maintaining existing development, but as a, a, a window or le a lever onto transformation towards a more resilient and sustainable future. Uh, the key highlights of the different groups, I think, um, speak about existing networks, uh, th those that we can leverage and work with so that we do not necessarily create a new network. So even when the knowledge action network is a network itself, but it should tap into the existing networks. A research priority should be that we need to be creative. We need to identify research questions that are on the interface between the three programs that, uh, that we're scoping this uh, risk on in terms of Future Earth, WCRP and the Disaster Risk Community. The, uh, the group felt strongly that it's important now to actually have a development team in place for this Knowledge Action Network on emergent risks um, and extreme events and uh, that this development team should be efficient, it should be small enough but also um, diverse enough to actually address a range of, of, of topics through this Knowledge Action Network. Our next step 
is to continue working with the drafting team, which I believe will be formed immediately after this workshop. We'll continue uh, fleshing out and contributing to the vision and the mission of the Knowledge Action Network. We will also hope to continue and offer space for further discussion and brainstorming about the uh, formation of this um, Knowledge Action Network. So we are committed to, as IRGR, to continue with this Knowledge Action Network and we hope to also build the collaboration mechanisms that can start even before the formation so that we can feed into the implementation of the Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction. WCAP Grand Challenge on Weather Climate Extremes is doing very relevant research already in the context of changing extremes and changing risks. So we will continue doing that and we will listen carefully uh, what the other organizations and partners in the CAR will need from us to provide the best possible uh, tailored information and also shape our research question according to the CAR's needs. So the very next step is to actually establish a development team for the risk can. Um, so we will have an open call for um, expression of interest of, it, you know, of, 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 of um, excited and keen people. And from that we will put together um, a diverse and uh, a strong development team to further develop the agenda of the risk can.